So if we're progressing towards kipping pull-up, first the athlete needs to have some strict pull-up strength as well as good hollow and arch hang from the rib. Now we're going to take that to the more dynamic movement of doing the kip swing where we rapidly move from a hollow body position to the arch position repeatedly. Now this is where a lot of things get funky for athletes, especially if they don't have good hollow and arch position. If I'm doing my kip swing with a good hollow and arch position, I should be able to hit the brakes really, really fast and control my body. If I'm hiking during my kip swing where I'm just kicking my legs forward and back, you're going to see my whole body kind of pendulum back and forth on the rig, which is basically me not having control of the motion with my shoulders, my hips generating all that momentum and throwing it at my shoulders. So you're going to notice a, a pretty big difference between these two. Now, if I hike, stop. You see me move significantly more and not be able to hit those brakes as fast as when I do a proper hollow and arch kitsum. 